We are revisiting Just Pearly Things. For those of you guys that aren't aware, she is like the headline incel, like propaganda red pill lady of the online right. She's very cringy and very stupid. She's not very good at making arguments and she's not very good at uh, being convincing, but that's not necessary for content like what she makes. It's for people who already agree with her entirely and are just looking for a woman to validate those opinions. And so she's just not always had the most, uh, you know, she's not always had the best reputation. Since she really got big, there have been people dunking on her, but she still managed to eat by a pretty successful online presence. But as of late, she started to become a lot more hit or miss when it comes to her uh, viewership and how well her content does. This is particularly going alongside the fall of Fresh and Fit that's happened recently. Um, it really does seem like the red pill era is coming to an end. Uh, I, I think this like red pill, incel, like woman hate, but it's cool and everybody is getting on board the, the Andrew Tate. I think it's really starting to wind down. It's not over but it's starting to wind down pretty significantly. And I figured we should take a look at Jess Pearly Thing's channel to see what she's been up to. She uploaded a uh, few times today already. Oh, wow. Holy crap. She's uploaded seven videos today. She uploads seven videos a day. Bro. Bro. That is insane. Oh my lord, seven videos a day. Okay, what should we respond to? Unfaithful wife caught cheating by husband. Western culture destroyed men's lives and their marriages. Women's absurd dating standards for men. Yeah, goes like a pregnant wife cheats after 10 years of marriage. They made a hate article on me. Teenager bullied for leaked photos of 304 mother. What? Modern women are mentally unstable from social media. Sean O'Malley admitted to cheating on his wife. All these videos are so boring looking. Did Steve Harvey deserve getting cheated on? Single mother Brittany Renner grinding on Charleston White. The Logan Paul and Dylan Danis drama got worse. No wonder her channel's falling off. None of this is interesting. Like, not even as something I want to respond to. The reality of modern women dating down. Oh, okay, here's one. Let's, let's see. Let's learn about modern women oh. dating down. That seems like the kind of thing that would go against, like, her worldview, the idea that women would ever date down, quote-unquote. So let's hear what her response is to that. Okay, so I was scrolling through TikTok, and guys, I found this um, account that I think is so funny. I'm going to react to some of his videos this week. Um, and he had a video talking about why women are dating down. You know, I just noticed... Just like Matt Walsh and the Daily Wire people, Just Pearly Things has an earpiece in. She's having lines fed to her for her show, just like the Daily Wire people do. Like, there is literally such a lack of talent, originality, or desire to know or speak the truth in the online right that they, they can't even do a show without an earpiece in, where they're getting lines fed to them. I don't even think they do this in any of the bigger lefty media. Like, does Sam Cedar have an earpiece in when he does his show? Y you can see the earpiece right here. That This is an earpiece. Um, Sam Cedar doesn't? Yeah, I've never noticed that. I've never noticed it even on, like, the Young Turks, but maybe they do have, have that. Um, yeah. I feel like it's a bad sign if the person whose show you're watching is wearing an earpiece, like if they're an online content creator, because it's really not necessary. If they have to have lines fed to them, then they are not competent in talking about these topics at all. You know what preparation I do for these streams? I write out a list of topics I'm going to cover, and then knowing what topics I'm going to cover when I'm like in the shower or when I'm making myself breakfast or cleaning my apartment, 
I um I think up different uh like uh, uh arguments and and points that I want to make and I kind of word them out and plan them hours ahead in my head ready to say whenever like the segment happens. I do a little bit of that like mental prep. But these people literally require earpieces because they're they're just corporate talking heads who have to do like a million segments per day because it's all about making money. There's no desire to spread the truth or actually achieve any positive change in the world they're going for. It's all just a grift. Is this Pearl? Yes, this is Pearl. Oh, nowadays. And really, I'm talking about women's reasonable standards. So pull the clip. Seeing a trend of women dating down, which what? means, you know, a man down. who... So it looks like women are getting victimized again. Uh, women are having to date down because there are no good men left. Let's talk about why. So usually, men make what? more than women, which is not fair. Let's not talk about why. We'll just assume it's oppression. So to combat this oppression... Ah, uh, yes. The left notoriously unwilling to talk about why things like oppression or wage inequality are an issue. Very unwilling to talk about these things. We need the government to make laws so that women can make an equal amount of money, which is- I like how this guy's video, his like political video is- it's a guy recording vertical on his phone little doodles and scrabbles he made in a notebook. And it's like, guys, trust me, bro. I'm about to explain to you the reality of things. Guys, you know what? Let me show you an example of the trend of, like, this grifty misinformation spreading outside of the politics sphere. We spend a lot of time debunking misinformation that's become so big and popular in the realm of politics. But this exists outside of the political realm in other spaces, and there are big content creators who much less controversially debunk the spread of this type of misinformation. And because they're not political content creators, they get far less hate. A good example of this is this uh, geology um, YouTuber I watch. Um, he does shorts primarily. Yeah, minimum minute, mini minute man, mini minute man. This guy. Let me show you an example of like how big this misinfo shit is, even outside the politics sphere. Science real? Uh, bro, what? That don't ever, never do that again. Actually, no. You know what? He's totally right. This is the most masculine way to eat a banana. Huge footprint found on the side of a hill in Africa. If I hear one more person talk about this footprint, I'm actually gonna do it. I swear to God that every single day somebody tags me in a different video of a guy in a backwards baseball cap talking about this fucking footprint. What's up guys, Truthseeker69 here. Today we're gonna be looking at this giant footprint. I think that this right here is proof that m mainstream academia has been lying to us. Alright everybody, say it with me now. If your only evidence for something is that it looks like something else, you are probably wrong. This is granite that is 200 million years old. The last time it was pliable, it was fucking magma. Why would there be a footprint in it? Yo, well, of course you'd say that, Milo, because you're being paid by the Smithsonian to hide the truth. Yeah, you know what? No, fuck it. I'm, I, I'm being paid by the Smithsonian. The Anunnaki are real. Giants exist. And mountains are giant tree stumps. Let's go fuck myself. So yeah, there are YouTubers out there that have been having to deal with, like, the massive rise in, like, online misinfo being as, like, monetarily profitable as it is and as popular as it's been getting in places like TikTok, which you can tell this is, like, a TikTok formatted video, uh, the one we're watching from Pearl. Like, th this isn't just a political misinformation issue. Misinfo across the board is flourishing online, and it's being monetized heavily. And it's making said spreaders of misinfo a lot of money. Is fair. And once women are making an equal amount of money, now uh, men who make less than them are fucking losers. For the record, by the way, the reasons why women make less money is due to the fact that women are, as a demographic, far less encouraged to pursue jobs and careers that are likely to make a lot of money. In fact, conservatives, like the guy whose video we're watching right now, are arguing against the idea of women pursuing high-paying jobs. The reason the wage gap exists is because we have socially told women, through implication and overtly in many cases, that jobs such as, you know, jobs that are typically more profitable are not what they should pursue. And, you know, things such as childcare is a very good example of this. It is a career that is overwhelmingly dominated by women and yet very underpaid. Teachers as well, heavily underpaid 
because most of them tend to be women, because that is, of course, a child care giving position. Um, yeah, it's there's a lot of examples of this. Um, and I'm not even talking about the tendency for within a company for the salary of, uh, of a woman to be lower than that of a man um, on average. I'm talking about simply the demographic gap in wealth income and wealth inequality. Um, this is in large part due to social pressure on women. And what this guy is mad about is the fact that is changing, that more women than ever are pursuing careers and thinking, yeah, you know what, I'd be fine being single until my 30s or whatever. I don't plan on having kids. Uh, let me just pursue college and making a lot of money and making sure that I'm financially stable. Incel dudes, conservative guys, hate that. A financially independent woman is a woman who is far harder to abuse. A woman who is forced to seek out a man for a relationship and a man to support them is practically stuck in that relationship no matter how bad it is. Which is why so many of these conservatives advocate against contraception, abortion, divorce. Their end goal is for women to be prisoners of just the most awful men and to have absolutely no recourse to get out of that situation. There's women are getting educated and they have standards so they're not gonna date down she i like how educated is in quotes and standards is in quotes mind you educated literally means going to college and getting a degree and and whatnot and then standards means like not dating some useless slob who doesn't consider women to be people he needs a man who makes more money than her which is not fair government help so basically what, what is the logic there? That it's a cycle where the government's going to keep on giving money and benefits to women to make them have more money than men, and then the men are going to make work harder to make more money than the women, and the women are going to complain again? What? Women need to be making the same amount of money as men, or even more, because it's 2023. That's the year that it is. That's I like how so much conservative argumentation is just, like, sarcastically strawmanning the left. Like, no engagement with any actual progressive values, no feminist values or anything like that. Just, like, here's me explaining to you what the left believes. Just trust me, bro. It's, this is the year, and so the government has to make this happen. Because it's, it's August 23rd. The logic is flawless. So all... Hey, look, current year again. Hey, we're getting the current year thing again, like uh, the Heels vs. Babyface rant. Remember, guys, it's a consistent through line of buzzwords and talking points across these conservative grifters. A very common one is saying, uh, current year, in reference to anything they view as marginally progressive. Women should be equal to or better than men, and all women should be able to find a man who makes more money than she does. Where have all the good men gone? I just don't get it. The only women saying that they should be able to find a man that makes more money than them are women who are self-reporting that they're gold diggers. So what is the problem? These guys are acting like gold digging has never existed prior to the age of the internet and OnlyFans and Instagram models. It's always been a thing. Only now, social media has made it so they tend to be open about it more often than they were before. So those women who have always exist are just giving off their red flags more overtly, which lets you steer wide and clear before anything gets serious. That's what he's complaining about right now. There have always been gold diggers. They're just more open about it now by posting on social media about it. Because that's what these people do. They find, like, tweets of, like, a woman saying, Oh, I gotta get my side dick to buy me expensive dinner tonight or something like that. And they'll be like, Oh, yeah, see, this is what women are. They just, they're just they just trying to use you for money. And they'll, they'll have 15 different dudes on the side, all to get their different benefits from. And for a lot of women, that's true. I've met tons of girls who have, like, a catalog of dudes who all have, like, different professions and different, like, benefits they can get. Um, if the girl has sex with them and, and they can, like, get something out of it. Um, tons of girls I've met that are like that. Not the majority. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, as long as, like, there's not any, like, dishonesty going on. No lying or, like, theft or thievery. But these guys would say that, like, that is somehow thievery. I just don't understand it. I got educated, and that's something that men care about a whole lot. So now...
Also, the women who've gotten educated and are making a lot of money are not the women who are doing gold digging. They're not the women who are, like, out there, like, using men, quote-unquote, for their money. Or looking for a wealthy guy. If anything, they're the ones who, like, because of how hard it is to make a lot of money, they're probably older, and they're probably cougars. Like, I would imagine, like, most well-accomplished women who, who, like, have a lot of money are probably into their 50s and 60s. And they would just, like, order a bunch of, like, 21-year-old, like, male strippers in, like, firefighter and cop outfits to dance for them in their office as they snort cocaine. Like, I think that's what, like, most, like, very successful, accomplished women are doing. <laughs> because they can. Now, me and all the other educated women are looking for men, and they're all busy. What's going on here? I want a man who makes six figures, because that's more than me, and that's not fair. So I- Okay, women who make a lot of money are not looking for guys who make more money than them. That's generally not the case. Most women who are looking for guys who make a lot of money aren't doing it because they're gold diggers. They're doing it because they hope that they can find a relationship where financial stability is a bonus. I know a lot of women who are not gold diggers, but when they talk about their ideal guy, being financially stable is up on the list because they do not want to be in a relationship where they're going to live in like a crack house or a shitty small studio apartment and live a miserable life. If a girl can, go, can choose between perfect guy, but he's broke, and perfect guy, but he's financially stable, she's going to choose the perfect guy who's financially stable. Because you'd have to be crazy to choose the person who doesn't have their life together, who you're going to be latching yourself onto and, and basically inheriting the problems of. Like, I know these guys have never been in, like, a serious relationship before, but, like, beyond the prospect of what, like, the 15-year-olds who watch these videos think a relationship is, when you get into a relationship with someone long-term and you live together... You feel like family. The dynamic and the, the feel, not in like a Alabama kind of way, but like in a, that person is part of your family now when you've dated for a long enough time and you've like lived together a long enough time. And so that whole dynamic changes more like, yeah, in a fast and the furious kind of way. Yeah. Um, but also in the same way that like you would say that your wife is part of your family, right? Like a husband, and wife or family but they're not blood family. You understand what I mean. Um, and so, like, when a, a, an actual serious relationship takes place, and people in chat who've been in a long-term serious relationship where you've lived with a partner before can probably agree, it feels like a family member, more so than, like, dating, you know? Like, that feeling you get when you're dating somebody, and you're all nervous to meet them, and you're gonna go on a date, and you're meeting up, and you gotta pay for, for dinner, and, and make sure you put on your best show, and you're wearing your best clothing and stuff. That is a very different feeling, and dynamic, and just thing, than once you've been dating for, like, two or three years, and you've lived together for two or three years, and it's just, you've learned to live with each other. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to put into words, but, like, a lot of the guys who are watching content like this have never actually been in a serious relationship, and they don't realize how, when you get into a committed serious relationship and you live together, how hard it is to re-separate your lives if it doesn't work out. Like, it's possible, but it's difficult. It's not a clean separation. And so, um, I, I think that so many of these guys who watch this content are susceptible to this propaganda simply just because they've never experienced what most adult guys will have in a actual long-term serious relationship, you know? And they don't know what it's actually like. And that it doesn't just end once you've gotten the girl, you know? It's, it's a whole thing after that. Like, you've got a person who is in your life that you like emotionally care for who like it's a whole thing I i'm not gonna stun lock on this but i hope you guys understand what i what i mean when i say like these zoomers watching this content have no idea what i'm talking about i should be making six figures and when i get my six figures i i want a man who's making seven figures why can't i find any 
And Reminder, no, no citations or anything. This is just made up. When I do find a man who makes seven figures, that's oppressive. Government, help! I'm so sick of all this dating down. Why don't you just do- Okay, is it just gonna be the same- the same cycle, him repeating it over and over? Okay, let's skip to the end. I thought this was such a genius way to put it. Because this is exactly what happens. The government comes in Where? and adds these quotas. They discriminate against men for jobs. They overpay Where? women for Where? doing the same work as guys. Give an and example. actually pay women more per hour. Give an and example. And you'll see this trend of smart, educated. It is, it is literally, for the same reason you people argue, it is on paper illegal to pay women more than men. That that is not legal. So, show any evidence. Educated women dying alone. And really, um, the women that I think- Mind you, Jess Pearly things is admitted she's not in a relationship. She's lonely and single. She's like in her late 20s, going on 30. She is literally everything that she uses as an insult towards women. The thing about Jess Pearly things is that when her opponent is a man, she has nothing. When her opponent is a woman... All of her arguments and insults are just misogyny. She just says, you're a whore, you're gonna die lonely, you're losing your looks, you're, uh, you should smile more, that, that kind of shit, you know? Um, but she is everything that she uses as an insult against women. She's not all that attractive, she's lonely and miserable and not in a relationship, she has had no kids, she isn't much of a looker. She, like, I, I don't know, it's just, it's all projection. Every single one of these conservative grifters, whenever they do have an original thought, which tends to be their insults, it's projection. Think of that over, I don't want to say overcame this, but um, like the women that I see that are smart and educated have to, they have to date, quote unquote, down. Um, I'll give you an example. That chick from Precious, the Gabrielle, Gabrielle chick, um, she dated down. The girl from B Bumble, Whitney Wolf Heard. She dated down. Oprah dated down. And I'm not saying dated down in all aspects. You know, I'm sure they outdid her in them in some. But it, it's just if you're going to make... Notice how, like, the way they frame relationships is like it's some kind of contest or, like, lottery or a, uh, like, investing. These are people whose view of relationships, the ones who are actually in them, are extremely toxic. And people who have never been in relationships consuming the content. No one who's actually been in a relationship is watching this and agreeing. I refuse to believe that. Let me, let me look at, like, the replies. I feel sorry for young people now. This is like a boomer. I feel sorry for young people now. I'm so glad that I grew up in the 80s. No mobile phones, no texting, just living life very spontaneous. It was great. I've always wondered how they can hold both the, these positions at once. The distribution of women's income should be the same as men. All women deserve to date a guy who makes more than her. What, what lefties are saying this? Where are lefties saying all women deserve to... Is this just like a made-up quote that right-wingers have just kind of like manifested into reality as like a straw man of what feminists believe? That all women deserve to date a guy who makes more than her? To be fair, these guys think feminism is like when a woman online is a bad person. Like... Feminism is both anything vaguely progressive having to do with women's rights and when a woman does a bad thing. That, that's what feminism is to these people. Literally just incoherent. Completely incoherent. By the way, Just Pearly Things has been one of the biggest purporters of two policies that the right has started to adopt um, a lot more broadly lately. Advocacy for banning divorce particularly divorce initiated by women, like no-fault divorces initiated by women, and uh, the banning of contraception and abortions. Notably, the banning of access to contraception has become a... It has become a central topic that uh, radical Republicans have been focusing on. So if you are interested in actually doing something to fight to defend your contraceptive rights, then I've got some links for you, okay? I've gotten into contact with Progressive Victory, 
which is currently working to combat the Republicans' fight against your rights to access to contraception. So if you want to join them, contact them and get some work from them to help fight against the Republicans who are doing this and learn how you can do it, here is the link. You've got a link to where you can uh, write letters to your representatives and tell them to support your right to access contraceptions. And then here is the home website for Progressive Victory and their Protect, Contracepti uh, Protect Contraceptives campaign. I'm currently working with them, and I love what they do. I think they're based as hell. I could not be more happy to be involved with them. And I think you guys should be getting into contact with them, seeing what you can do for them, because they're an actual group fighting to preserve your rights that Republicans and conservative pundits who are very well funded are fighting desperately to take away from you. So if you actually want to get on the ground or hell, you can just sit in your chair and not even have to leave your house. There are things you can do working with this group to fight against what the Republicans are trying to do to your rights. Even if you're not in favor of abortion, the best way to prevent abortions is more access to contraception. The best way to prevent um, sexually transmitted infections, STIs, is through contraception. So please, please, please consider checking out those links, progress.win forward slash letters and www.protectcontraceptives.com. Please check it out. And thank you for the raid, Vosh. I really appreciate it. Vosh Raiders, consider checking out these links. Uh, if you want to protect your rights to contraception uh, uh, stuff, the stuff you use to keep your partner from getting pregnant and from catching STIs, um, if you want to retain your contraceptive rights and fight against Republicans who are trying to take them away from you, please check out those links. Progress.win forward slash letters and protectcontraceptives.com. If any of my mods could add a, um, a command, so if you do like exclamation point PV, it does a, it like brings up those two links. That would be awesome. If Zanbot could do that, that would be really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, 